we want to show you that they can do their training side by side. And we have a person here that's not a trainer, but she sort of knows how to do this. We told him to sit. Now we're going to do, make sure he sits. Now we're going to do some training. Okay. And do your little left circle. And down. Down. You might have to step on that. Otto's not used to doing the training with this person, so the way it is is if you don't practice with the dog and walk around, do the walk around down stay, they're not going to automatically do the training with you unless they're used to practicing with you, at least for a couple of days first. And this is the first time <coughs> Ingrid's ever handled them, so you see how much better Arthur is. And we're going to go back next to them. No, and see how Arthur popped up. You heard me say his name probably. So if he pops up, you just put your, go like this and he'll go back. You saw me put my foot on the, the leash and then, okay, okay, and sit. Sit. And pat their chest and say, go, and they're free. And they're free. And then I'm gonna give you a treat, Ingrid. You're gonna call Otto to you. I'm gonna call Arthur to me. I'm calling them away from each Come. other. Come. <laughs> this way, buddy. I called you. Good boy. That was a little bit awkward there. So we're going to step into them and we're going to do a sit stay now. Do your left circle and waiting for you. Sit. And so step out in front of him. And can, can you see all this? Are you getting all of this? Uh, you might want to stand back because you need to get all of this. We're doing sit stays. Go ahead and walk around Otto. He's doing pretty good for being handled by a stranger. Doing the sit stays. The reason I'm doing this with both of them together is because it's way harder for them to stay calm when they're together. So I've been practicing a lot side by side with them. And then you know how to reward him straight down, eye contact, go back next to him. Straight down, good. It's like that and then with your right hand pat his chest and say, go and they're free. Excellent. Okay. So we're going to practice something, a real life something. They're over there getting attention from Ingrid. Can you maybe have Otto turn back to you like love them up and um, you know so they're having a great time over there and I'm going to call them from across the yard. We're going to test out their recall. Come! Oh look at that. Good, whoa, Arthur just ran right into me and I gave him a little treat because that's pretty good when they come that quickly. But I'm gonna add to that the problem right here and we're just gonna keep rolling is that the treats fell apart into a bunch of crumbs so I'm just gonna let them kind of clean up the, the ground for just a second. And I'm gonna show you how I've been practicing doing the training just with myself. But of course, you've got leashes on them. If you're gonna do this, make sure you're set up for success and you put the leashes on them before you start to train because there's no way to do it after you call them. It's just really a hassle and stressful. So I think that they vacuum cleaned up all the treats here, most of them. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm not going to use a treat this time, I'm just going to come, call them to me, good guys, grab the leashes, step into them like this, and I'm going to say sit. And then I'm going to practice a little solo, no, if he pops up, you say no, and just apply a little bit of pressure, you know, we're being super gentle, but no, because... They're real fragile little dogs, so there's no rough stuff, there's no popping, jerking. They're sitting, we're practicing a sit stay. They're sitting there. If you hold the handles of both leashes, then you can walk around like this. It's just a good thing to do a couple times a day. You know, it's just gonna take you 30 seconds, 40 seconds, this, this thing is just randomly, you know, call them and do some training side by side because they have to be calm and focused in order to do this. And you want them increasingly to be more and more like this just 24 seven. And this is how you're gonna achieve that. Nope, and, and make sure he really waits until you release him. No, so make sure they really wait. So I'm going to say, go, and then they're free. I touched their chest and said, go. The problem with practicing like this all the time is that they know exactly what I'm going to be doing, but it's a good thing because if you do the same thing, they'll just be, all they do is go around all day long waiting for somebody to do this. So 
Ingrid's trying to distract them and make sure Arthur, no, he's getting petted. Both of them are looking away from me. Now we're going to practice calling them away from Ingrid from across the yard. Come! Oh boy, I don't have food. I just got these targets. Good! There's no food there because it would scatter on the floor and they would spend time vacuuming it up. So this time we're going to do down with both dogs. And they're so excited because we have visitors in the yard. But I wanted to do this in a situation that was like real life. When you're doing this by yourself, if you want to do this, you're going to have to practice a little bit. But um, make sure that the important thing with this is just that they stay down while you walk around. One is pointing, <laughs> they're each pointing opposite ways. That's fine. What's important is that it's this about the stay. The stay is what makes them calmer. So if they stay there while we do this and walking behind both of them, for some reason, dogs are always popping up when their owners walk around them, even though they might go down. There's not much of a stay there. So we accentuate the stay, which is the most important part. We want them calm like this all the time. So we practice this as much as possible because when we, when we release them, they're a little bit calmer every day and every week and every month. And pretty soon they, you see they're just way calmer overall because of how you practice the down stays and sit stays. So now I'm gonna release them up. Okay, and sit, because we always release them from a calm sit stay out of a down, go. And that's the way you do it if you just want to practice by yourself. Make sure you always have the leashes on first uh, so that you don't, they don't come to you and then you have to struggle with them and attach the leashes. It's too hard. So make sure that you're all set up to do this and then you call them to come and then you do your down stays or sit stays. Okay, let's go.